Greetings friends, um, this is going to be a short, uh, just a thank you for any of my subscribers and people supporting me, people praying for me. Um, it's the 1st of October today, 2019. Um, thank the Lord for my life and uh, all the blessings and weighing up this life experience. Uh, Nothing compares to salvation in, in in the Lord and knowing that Lord and coming to know that yourself. Uh, the Lord's eternal, eternal life is now, it's always, it's eternally now, present and today is that day and that's the most important thing so um, I'm not going to compromise that, I'm not going to, um, the Lord said uh, if his kingdom was of this world, his servants would fight. And if you've received the Lord, you know what the, the prince of this world, the, the, the temporary ruler of this world is the devil. And if you don't know the Lord, you're not going to see the devil. So you're going to get wrapped up in fighting and trying to get justice. You're not. And, and if, you, if you're honest and you look what's going on in the world and like, I don't want to patronise people, but um, I'm sure most most people um, who've been targeted have who've, who've educated themselves, and they see the corruption. They see the corruption in our government. They see the corruption in the world, and it can be a hopeless burden if you haven't got you haven't got the Lord to carry your burden. So. I want to just emphasise that today is a day of salvation and, and it's simply to come to the throne, come to the cross, come to the Lord in, in knowing you're a sinner, seeking his mercy and forgiveness and believe, believe with all your heart and receive that eternal life because eternal life is now, it's forever and once you have it, you've got it forever and, and that is simply the gospel but if you die in your sin, if you sin is unbelief and anything you do in unbelief is sinful it's wrong and it's going to get you into transgression, it's good, you're going to uh, fall into problems and your problems are going to be insurmountably worse and worse and God is just and the world is unjust because people re have rejected his love, his mercy, his forgiveness and he know, you know, God well knows what's going on. He's in charge. He's sovereign, but he will only intercede for believers and on or on their behalf. He won't. He's left the world to to choose whether they want to, how they want to live their lives, and whether they want salvation. And and salvation is completed. Jesus has been dispensed. He's he saved everybody. But that doesn't grant you salvation. It needs to be claimed. It, it, it needs to be appropriated. And the way to appropriate that salvation is simply through faith alone in Jesus Christ alone. And um, you, then you will see um, for yourself all the corruption in religion, in, in all the paedophilia in the Roman Catholic Church. It's not new. In the Church of England, it's nothing new. All of these big organisations, these bodies of men who organise and wear their, wear their religious garb, they don't believe in Jesus. But if you don't believe in Jesus and know Jesus, you're not going to know that. So you're not going to see what... Uh, the truth is, you're not going to see what Christianity is in 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 its essence, in its in simplicity. It's that simple. You believe, you receive, and you know, and you're completed. You're made whole by by His love, by His Spirit, and you won't know that or ever comprehend that until you have been given that as a free gift. And salvation is a free gift, and it's today. So that's I I have to. Um, convey that every time because that's the most important thing but I wanted to do this video just to thank people for support and um, and I've been um, looking at um, some some of these uh, my people who've subscribed and uh, so I'd like to thank those people and thank anyone who's praying and I am praying for for all all, the, all people going through this and and it's um, it was a concern of mine, but we're all limited to what we can do, and we are. I think if you're going through this, you're 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 very well aware that it's um, almost impossible. It, it, you're locked down. The police can, you know, people intervene and leave. Even the people in authority who are ignorant and are not aware of this will go along with somebody perhaps corrupted in those 
um, organisations who are leading them against somebody and, and they will obediently follow without question and I, I, I've been wa I watched some videos last night of, of some of um, some of the things that uh, have been posted so I just want to open open the door to say if any I can't there's only a lim limited things uh, um, I'm limited to what I can do and how I can help uh, but I just wanted to leave an invitation to anyone who's perhaps would who's desperate and they've got no one else to turn to and just to um, if you want to request a, a prayer I will pray for you I'll keep I'll keep you in prayer faithfully if, if I'm sincerely asked I will do all I can fervently to pray that that, that person will receive some help but the, the greatest help you can receive if you don't know the Lord is to go and receive your salvation and that's simply believe through faith. Have mercy on me Lord, I'm a sinner and believe with all your heart without doubting and then he will answer and then you will know and you won't need anyone else to tell you about religion, he will teach you all that himself and he will take you from where you are in your sin, in your worst possible state because we uh, we don't realise how really wicked this world is, it's all wrong, it's terribly wrong. We see it but we don't grasp and we don't always see our own uh, responsibility that we are part of it. We are part of the traffic and the only, only deliverance is a spiritual deliverance and that's eternal life. Uh, so if anyone would re request a prayer, I'm just going to state that if you uh, want an audience you're not going to get one with me. I, I just haven't got the energy to provide any uh, you know any counsel? I'm not a counsellor. Uh, it's something I could quite easily go and get get qualified. I, I have a, a counselling certificate, but I've I've been all through that uh, that world, and it, 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 you're not allowed to offer the gospel. You're locked down, and you've got to um, sit there and take every people's problems on and and help them resolve it which is it's not a bad thing but it's just not something I've got the energy to provide any counsel I, I, I can give my opinion but um, if you knew the Lord it is something you he will equip you to do for yourself and um, and it, and, it, and if it, if this uh, you're in a situation where nothing can be done you just have to um, endure it you just have to wait wait on the Lord to get you through it so I'm opening, just opening my heart, opening my, just opening the door to anybody who's going through it at the moment and they just would like um, just somebody to watch over and pray over them. Um, please contact me, I'll, be, I'll gratefully do that. Uh, just just um, email me, signpost, signpost to Christ, it's the same as my uh, web channel at gmail.com. But um, any anyone who's because uh, I get lots of trials and you know I don't want to be bogged down with insincerity, so I will easily spot what's genuine and what's not, and I will not answer. You know, simple as that. But if you're genuine, I will respond. I will respond. But um, bearing in mind. For me to correspond with people, it takes up my time, and my time is very precious. I've got I've I've got so many burdens, and I've got uh, injuries. I am fatigued. I'm post traumatic stress. I've had a car accident. It's not been treated. Blah 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 blah. And I don't want to sound like a hypochondriac in Windsor murmuring. I'm just stating a fact. So I haven't got the time to get bogged down in too much correspondence, and I don't like to be rude. You know, I'm a Naturally, I'm a bit of a pleaser and I go all out to help people, but that is a weakness and I will be let out into at my own expense. So I I can't afford to um, take on everybody's problems, but I am very happy to pray. I, and, and that's all I can do is offer the gospel, offer that salvation which, which is free. It's, it's been given by the Lord. It's been given by God the Father. It's been... Um, completed by the advent of Jesus Christ, dying for our sins, he paid, he suffered everything, he was holy and he took upon every single sin of this world from from the, from all mankind, all mankind and he was innocent so he's exonerated and paid the debt 
But if you die without him, you have no advocacy at the judge. And the judge is God and God is holy. And if you've got sin in your life and you've not received the one who's exonerated you and got you off, you'll have nowhere to turn. You have no answer for all your sins. You have no excuse. There is no excuse not to know the living God. And the world is going, it's going ripe and it's going downhill pretty fast. We, nobody knows the time or the hour, but we're approaching that, um, the end really. We're coming up to that point. It could be 10 years, it could be five years. Nobody knows, but it's imminent, it's soon. It, we, you can see it, if, you, if you're honest, you can see where the, uh, the world's been. You, you can see where it's going and the Lord's revealed in his word, in his spiritual word, Prophecy. Prophecy is um, sharing things from how things were, how things are, and how things are definitely going to be. God is omnipotent. He's computed all this. He suffered all this. He knows the outcome. He's he gained the victory over the the power of this world, which none of us in this world can put right. So all the glow, you know, whether all the world leaders come to tackle all the problems, it's going to come to naught. And if you're honest with yourself, um, with your own life, how how we fall short. So we're going, you're going to have a load of organisation that is full of people who will fall down and fall short, and it will break. And then people will start blaming, and it'll fall out, and there'll be fights and wars. And well, just look at Brexit in England and how how the uh, the, the politicians behave because they're human and they're limited and and all the good people in those places are outnumbered so you the, your only hope is now is salvation so um i i, I pray for all the people that are going through it i i it's it's just a, it's dreadful it's wicked but your only, your only salvation is the Lord Jesus Christ. But if you would like a prayer, then I'm only too happy to assist. And I would encourage people to just play, post a video up, show your evidence, and that does make a difference. And that, that may be therapeutic. It may uh, give you another day of hope, uh, help you grow, help you feel confident, and you'll grow from there. Um, but your first port of call really should be the foundation of the, uh, the gospel knowing knowing God personally and he will uh, he's, he, he's wonderful and, and it can't, cannot be expressed it cannot be given it has to be received individually it's personal Jesus personally died he's, he's, he knows what what you've worn he, he know, he's tried your shoes on he's, he knows your whole life better than you do like he knows my life. And I won't go to anyone else because I haven't been in my shoes. He has. So that's who I trust. And he answers my prayers. He doesn't answer all of them. And when he doesn't answer my prayers, I have to, I have to trust him because he knows better. He, know, he can see the whole picture of what's going on. Whereas we think, oh, this should be done, that should be done. Well, we don't see the whole picture all at once and all, at all times, all moments and how... We see, we see, we've got very, we're very limited, even though we could be educated and have a great understanding of what's going on, we still don't really know what's going on. And, and we're all shocked, we're well, not shocked, we're not surprised, but we discover things that are perhaps far worse than what, what we'd already, already known. So um, if you do, if you do uh, require a prayer, please just uh, email me. But bearing in mind, I'm limited to what I, I can do. And um, I will pray. And uh, I just encourage people to hang in there. Don't If you feel like giving up and you feel no one loves you, no one's caring, well, there's one, one loving Lord and Saviour outstretched. He cares. He cares wonderfully. And uh, I just encourage you not to turn your back not to turn your face aside, not to be proud, not to let your nature or how you've been conditioned to think on Christianity, because Christ is a bio, you know, he's a, he's a cuss word. He's, um, you become a Christian, you are, uh, you're isolated, people blank you, people treat you worse than what people who get um, unjustly treated in the world get treated. You get treated like that almost every turn. You are slapped in the face, 
and then if you, when you go to share the gospel you're you're rejected left right and center but um christians only do it because they they've tasted the, the, the gift of life the eternal gift the free gift of eternal life and they want to share it and every time somebody rejects them they we feel it because our lord felt it and we have that connection that empathy and the lord knows full well that many are going to reject him which is a which is a cross you know it's a cross we've got to bear but he lifts our cross because we can put all our cares upon him every day and he will lift us and we'll be light and we'll be able to take another day and another day and until the till the end when he comes when he comes for his church he, he's gonna he's gonna remove all those who've received him he's gonna remove them out of the way just like he did um in when lot was uh, rescued from sodom and gomorrah and and it's just two destroying angels heavenly hosts came down to um just uh, evaluate to confirm that it was as wicked as it is and it's it's just like sodom and gomorrah today all the paedophile rings all the corruption the exploiting of homeless children uh, pimping them out and it's become so ripe and so brazen that that it cannot be exposed and and they go all out to protect it because it's um it's used to keep a hold on people and this was documented throughout history it's if you read uh, Pawns in the Game, it, it, it's mentioned in there uh, by um, a naval intelligence officer who, who exposed and much of this through research and exposing these uh, machinations and techniques, how they set up hotels for officers in, during the war and then filming them with prostitutes and then blackmailing them. It's nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun and it, this world is wicked and evil and corrupt it, it's, it's sharp in iniquity and the one at the point at the top is the devil and um, it's not going to be put right there may be a um, knocking out people but it isn't going to knock out the whole iniquity it, there may be might, you know there may be uh, parts of judgment but you're never going to get a complete just solution so it, it, it's not wrong to tr seek justice, but if you understand the whole picture, it puts it in pers into perspective. And, and then if you've got the gospel, you know that the most important thing is people's souls, people's salvation. Because um, life passes just like that. And, once, and if you miss out, simply you perish. God's, God's provided the way. So there's no excuse not to accept the way and know the way. So if you die in your sin, God is just. You know, it's not something he was going to revel in. It's not something he wanted because he's died for you. If you reject him, there's nothing that the Lord can do. So you will remain outside of eternal life. So he, he's provided a way. He's brought, brought you into existence. Doesn't matter how crummy your life's been. He's provided you eternity of joy. So when you weigh that up, you, you it makes you realise well you're you're being selfish if you're if you reject him, and you'll cut your nose off to spite your face, and then they'll be weeping and wailing, gnashing the teeth. Oh, it's not fair. Lots of religious people are going to say, but Lord, we believe. You know, didn't we go to church? Didn't we do all these good works? He said, well, you didn't you didn't accept my sign. You didn't believe. You just professed you believed and, and went about doing religion. You didn't appropriate my atonement. You didn't come to me personally and ask for my forgiveness. And seek me and uh, receive what I've done, what I've done for everybody. And, and you haven't got that yourself, so there's nothing I could do. So he's just to, I've done it, you can't go back. You've had your day, it's a probation. Life is a probation. And tomorrow you may die. And if you die in your probation without knowing the Lord, Sadly, you know, that's, un that's an unbearable thought, you know, that it's a horrible thing to think about when, when you come to be, uh, salvation, you, re you realise it's a reality and, you, and a lot of people think, oh, you know, God wouldn't do that, you know, God's just and he's gentle and kind, yes, he is gentle and kind, he's merciful, but he's not, he's not, he's not going to treat you with that mercy if you reject his son. 
Imagine if you, you laid your one of your loved ones down to save your community and they turn around and say, no, you know, you shouldn't have bothered. You, you know, that's what God has done impartially. He's done it re regardless, without respect of persons, regardless of what you are, what your sins are, who's guilty, who's, who's done more, who's done less, who's, who's better, who's a better sinner. Well, none of us are. We're rotten. We're rotten apples and we're going on the fire. Well, I'm not because I've been saved, but I, I was in that position. I was a rotten apple in the cart and the whole cart's rotten and there's no one that can change that rot from the inside out. And if you think you're good, you know, I, I was a good person, I done good things, I helped, you know, if I saw someone in trouble, I helped them, but so what? We should be doing that anyway. We should be doing that all the time, but we don't. You know, we can be good on one day and turn our, and, and, and ignore helping somebody on the other day. So our good works don't cancel out our bad works. So we are like oily rags. And to, to be washed and made pure and holy, you need to accept Christ's pure holiness and righteousness. And um, if you look at the Old Testament and, uh, and the law and what that taught, that just taught that the Jews were, couldn't, were sinful. It just convicted them of their guilt. And it didn't bring salvation. It just covered, it gave them a temporary reprieve for their sins. So they carry on sinning. Then they offer sacrifices, then they're, they're temporarily covered for their sins, then they carry on sinning, and on it went. So the Lord was the once forever sacrifice to put an end to sins. And that, that completed the law, and the law now is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So you receive his law, which is his spirit, his life, and then you will live lawfully which means love thy neighbour as thyself love, love God love thy neighbour but you're still a sinner but you have his holiness his his righteousness he's paid for you he's died for you because he he loves he loved you and he does love he does love he is loving he can't do anything but else but love but because you we're born outside of that love we need to receive it we need to appropriate it like when you want the light on in the dark you've got to put the switch on he set up all the electricity and the switch and given you a house. You have to go and press the button to put the light on. And that, that's simply the, the gospel. And then after that, you just share it and then you'll grow. And then you can you live your life free, however you choose, you know, with, with your responsibility, with your circumstances, with your family, with, with, whatever, you, whatever your circumstances, you will have that within you. And the... The church is simply those who have received Jesus Christ. They are a member of his church. The body of believers are the church. It's not religion. It's those who've um, appropriated the Lord's atonement and received him. So I'd like to share that invitation and um, wish everybody well. And I hope, I hope people haven't um, been destroyed by their experiences because uh, it is crushing, it is wicked, it is awful and it's wrong um, and uh, the, the only one who really cares is, is God the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. They, God died, the Father gave his son so when his son died the Father suffered it the Lord suffered it and the Holy Spirit suffered it and he's outstretched to save anyone who seeks him. doesn't matter what sins they've done, he died to save sinners and we're all sinners. So today is that day and I'll close there in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and wish people, people well, I'm praying for people, I'm concerned for people but I'm human and I, I, I can't go beyond that which I'm capable of doing so I just hope that people haven't uh, just been destroyed and crushed and stamped out of life like they don't they don't count and they've 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 gone straight into hell and, and you may think that's unfair but I've just explained God is just he's holy and he, he, he is fair because he's provided the way and everyone's had an opportunity to receive him from day one and uh, I'll leave those thoughts in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.